This a rolling, not a stop. Watch shit don't never stop. Shit got super hot. So guys, this is this new project car. <laughs> 40 quid from eBay. <laughs> it's got literally identical grill, same spoiler, just one problem. It's red. <laughs> and we need to get it to look like that. So we're gonna clean it. So Laura, Laura, you need this. Can we have some music on while we do it? You ready? Yeah. Yeah. So Laura needs this. <laughs> Laura, look, you need we're some. Not. We're not using real cameras. <laughs> No, we're not. Surely it'll clean it. Probably. Um, what have I got out? Speed gloss. Okay. Yeah, let's get that on it. <laughs> Lara couldn't afford a TT, so this is what she's got. Sure, this is not mine. I'm going to start masking tape before we prime it. This was very last minute. We decided about four hours ago we wanted to do this. Found it on eBay. And yeah, we started it. We've got a culture shock in like three weeks so that's what we're trying to aim to get to I'm actually questioning how you even did that light the poor person we bought this off must have thought what the heck when me and you can <laughs> hi we're not a child we're here to buy the car but for a different reason you can test it out if you want no yeah. no, no, no no we're okay to testing it out thank you why did I just decide this would be a good, a good idea? I do not know. The nightmares of. Well, oh, yeah, I've realised. Why can't we be simple, girls, and just do like makeup tutorials? <laughs> yeah. Why aren't we girly girls? Yeah. Oh look, my hairstyle video. No. no. We're just laying on a floor. Sellotape. Chewing on sellotape. But the front end of the car is masking taped off. That is my side. That is Laura's side. Laura's just doing the last little bit. She's doing the pedal because we forgot to do it. But I think we're all we're all masking taped up and we're ready. We're ready to go prime the paint, I think. Yes. Got all this horrible this red tip. tip. Yeah. There you go. Get this horrible uh, red colour and make it look like this. Yes. You ready to move? Yeah, we're gonna work with the Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> Chuckle Brothers. <laughs> ready? Know. Please don't anything fall off. What do we do? Do we just spray? We just. Yeah. <laughs> Is it going to wreck everything? Maybe. I'm so nervous. Oh, it's going to go white. I forgot about that. We definitely got the. We got the primer. We definitely got the primer. Ready? Go. Wow. That's 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 really white. Oh, Laura, you made you you thinking. Oh no! Oh no! Why is it your side? Let's spray the end. No, you know. Yeah, you spray your own hand. <laughs> Did it come off. Oh yeah. Maybe don't get in the way of the wind. Oh, it's already looking so much better. I don't think you're meant to eat it. I mean, should you not do more on like these parts? Well, I'm gonna just... No, just, no, I mean the scratchy parts. Cause they're the ones that are gonna show up with a pin. Yeah, well. By second, you get scratchy. <laughs> do you know, you can hire me if you like. I'll do people's priming, they're gonna be all You know down. what? I don't think anyone will want you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job, it's only a tight car. <laughs> it looks like a tight, a little tight car that's gone like too much outside the sun. Literally, yeah. Good night, pink, red, white car. You've got a bike and two cars to keep you company until tomorrow. Good night. This is day two on the little kiddie project car thing. I am like totally in my scruffs right now. I look horrendous, but I'm going to go out and paint the car. So I've got the gloss white spray can. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to maybe hand paint the badges black, obviously. Mine are carbon and i was going to get some carbon stickers from ebay but when i actually get them the carbon will like be too big for the scale of the car so i'm going to just paint them black and then figure that out later on down the line so that's today's plan so we'll see how that goes ignore that i'm sat like next to a skip but i've just sprayed one half of the car and i'm thinking it's going to need two cans so i'm going to do this one spray and see how it looks like that's the primer and that's one coat but 
it looks a bit pink don't know we'll see how it goes so that's using one can it is pretty white but because we've got a fire going off over there it's like bringing little pieces and stuff are sticking into it so this is white that's white they're looking similar so i might just go down to wilkinson's and get one more can and let that dry and do it again As you just saw, I have just been to Wilkinson's to go grab some more white spray, metallic, gunmetal grey and some lacquer so it doesn't scratch. I've changed locations, I am now in my front garden and this sheet makes it look really white. I've got my dogs helping, hello! Yeah, this sheet makes the car look really white and I didn't think it looked white but I had to move because it's getting like ash on it from... Um, the fire that my dad's having so I've changed location and I'm going to spray the second coat in here it hurts my hand <laughs> like all down there it's well hurting I 110% think it is white now after painting myself and the car it is definitely white so I'm going to let that dry then what I'm doing. Gonna let it dry, gonna paint the wheels, don't know how I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna lacquer it and I think that's it for today. So it's just started raining on me, I've had to put it under like this little canopy thing so good looks to me but it's now onto the wheels so I've duct taped all the wheels up and the brake discs, <laughs> all the brake discs behind so hopefully Hopefully when I spray this it should be okay and it should be the right colour to my car. Let's see. So we have two wheels painted but I'm going to have to wait till they dry before I turn the car around and do the other side. Still here, still in my dressing gown, still looking horrendous. My next door neighbour came out and was like, Xavier, what are you doing painting a child's car? He thought it was like a toy out of the garage from like my childhood or something but nope Xavier just went and bought it so currently right now all four wheels are sprayed and I have just hand painted one of the wing mirrors on its first coat the first wing mirror is painted but obviously it's only a first coat so I've got to do the second wing mirror and the spoiler in black I think not gonna lie it looks pretty sick <laughs> so I've just painted this and this and that and yeah all the black bits you can see this has seen better days um but i'm going to go around it with a white just to tidy it up other than that i got paint on that so i'm gonna have to paint that black i think the number plate situation i'm gonna get some stickers made up or fingers crossed i hope i get some stickers made up of my new number plate that i've bought So that's one coat. I think I'm going to do three coats because I've got quite a bit left in that can. Oh my god, it pulled out the paint off. It pulled the paint off. It looks so bad. The tape pulled all the paint off, or Laura didn't tape it off properly. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to have to go around and touch all that up. It's going to look horrendous. Oh god, this tape all stuck to the screen. Um, this and this needs paint in black tomorrow as well. And but the wheels are looking. The wheels look really good. That's probably the best thing that has done to it at the minute so i'm going to just go put it inside and put the seat back in day three on the car change locations come inside now obviously i have no spray painting to do but i've had to like salvage this out of the garage to paint around the edges yesterday where you saw when um, it pull all the paint off with the duct tape so i have been going around the edges i do need to do a couple more coats and apart from that I've been trying to get the paint off, that was like on the windscreen, around the lights. It's doing alright, it's doing alright, I just need to do a few more mm. tries to get it off. 
I've been using nail varnish remover and then I just went to the garage and I found like a really thin piece of plastic which I'm going to cut out as a splitter and somehow pin it black and screw it to the car. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So that's just a really rough outline that I'm going to go cut and then I'm going to measure it again. I th honestly think this is as good as I'm going to get. The paint won't come off. Um, the windscreen, obviously, I can do that a bit better. Dashboard, that needs doing. But I've just found my wrap. Shut up, dog. I've just found my wrap in my car. And it's got, like, the tiniest little bit of green on it ever. Like, we've got that much green to play with. God's sake. Oh, sorry. A bit more there. But I'm going to just cut pieces out and stick it on but before I do that I need to lacquer this black paint that I've just done so I need to take it back outside and also this this splitter thing hold on I'll show you that I did cut it out but because it, it's on plastic it's not gonna focus it's like chipped away so I need to find some sandpaper which obviously we're packing to leave the house as you can tell there's boxes everywhere so I can't find any sandpaper but I'm gonna spray it black let's just get it right I'm gonna spray it black and then it's gonna be like a little mini splitter but I wonder if I can just get away with just spraying it I mean it's a bit of a dodgy shape but it's the best you're gonna get when it's plastic I have never wrapped anything in my life but I'm having a go I'm having a go so I have cut all these out so far and stuck them on because I'm not just gonna stick them like a free-for-all I'm gonna just plan it out obviously I don't have that much green so I'm going to just wing it, but I'm sure it's going to look 10 times better than this in a bit. I think we're getting somewhere with it. Um, just need to do the back half and then add into all like these little white dots. I didn't want to just go all in and like shove everything everywhere because that's all I've got left. So I'm just kind of winging it. Oh, and it's still red inside. Oops. <laughs> this is the finished product of the car, kind of ish. I am not going to pick up wrapping as a job. <laughs> look at this. State of that. <gasps> Ew. All the front end is black to match mine and I added a splitter to it. Don't know how long that'll last because it's just glued on. Just need to add the splitter rods tomorrow and a sun strip and my number plate and then we're done. Day four on the car. I swear to God I have been out of this dressing gown and these slippers but then again I have spent the last four days in the house doing this car so hey. Uh, I don't have a life. Anyway, <laughs> moving on, moving on. It's now moved places. It's now taken pride possession on the worktop. Well, I didn't put it here, but there you go. I need to put the splitter rods on, so uh, all I could think of in the household was to use wooden chopsticks. So, yeah, it's really noisy out here, so I don't know how much you'll hear of me. Ignore the fluff in the garden. But I've just sprayed some chopsticks. The, do they need spraying? Oh, they are a bit sticky. Let's just give them one last little spray on that bit and then I can stick them on the car somehow. Oh, they're still wet. Hold on, bear with me. So I'm going to let them dry and then somehow I'm going to stick wood to plastic. Can't say if I've done that before, but I'm going to give it a go. Are you all ready to see my splitter rod? Sorry, but I think I have a really creative mind. Some nuts and bolts, a piece of chopstick, some spray paint. Wow! Look, look at it, it looks sick. You glue and Gorilla Glue, some of these, whatever the heck they are, I have no idea what they are, and some bolts. These wear off my original splitter that I never ended up using. A glue, bit of fiddling, and it looks like that. I know real ones don't look like that, but hey, we're on a toy model, you've got to make it look good somehow. So they're on, like I said, number plate, Sunstrip, ignore that we've got a red mark round there. I'm hoping the sunstrip's gonna cover it, and then we're done. Yay! I just need to get some dolls and me and Laura doll for the seat. Look what arrived today! Oh my god, my mini number plates and my mini sunstrip. So I'm gonna stick these on, and then the car's finished. Oh, they're gonna look so good. My measuring skills are amazing as well. Right, I'm just peeling this off. This is gonna be so satisfying with it. Oh yes, right. Is it stuck? 
Oh my god! <laughs> that looks amazing. Let's go put the front one on. Great. The front end is a bit rounded, so I don't know if this is going to bend around it, but I'm sure we'll find out in a minute. Oh my god, it did! <laughs> That's so cute! We've got to attempt to put this mini sunstrip on. Oh my god, it looks sick. Right, let's just ignore this really bad piece of wrap. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't wait to get it next to my car. Well, as you can see, it is like matching apart from the number plate. But yeah. Oh my god, it looks so cool. There you go, guys. They're together. Finally. Look, oh my god. I'm actually so proud of myself. I can't even get over it. The little splitters. Oh, they match. Cute. So cute. Sorry it wasn't like a project car like you thought it was going to be. But come on, come on, you've got to give me credit for this. Thank you for watching and goodbye.